Friends, today we will see the story of killing a poor man. Today's story will show how birds and animals witnessed a poor man's dead body after he was killed. Before starting the video, let us inform you that those who are new to our channel and have not subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe the channel now and press the bell icon next to it. Then later, the notification of new videos of this channel will reach you. And of course, give a like to the video. So let's start without delay, guys. Friends. A long time ago, there lived a noble and simple people in a city in Iran. His name was Danadil. Common people knew him as Dervish. Everyone around knew him and respected him a lot. Once that Dervish decided to go for Hajj, he said Allah Hafez before his friends went to Hajj and left for Hajj. He had nothing but a small bundle of clothes, a little food and a little money to spend. He used to travel during the day and spend the night in some locality at night. His third day of tour was going on. On his way he reached an inn. The place was deserted and there were many thieves and robbers. At that time too many robbers were stationed in the place. The robbers were happy to see a money bag on his back and thought to themselves, this man is alone here. If we attack him, he will not be able to deal with us. Without a second thought, they grabbed the poor dervish and started beating him to their heart's content. When the dervish found himself a prisoner, he threw all his belongings on the ground and said to the band of robbers, Be patient. I am alone, so listen to me first. Then do whatever you want. The robbers said, Don't bother your tongue anymore. You will never be released from your captivity and from this place of ours. Dervish said, No, I am not taking any help from anyone. Rather, I inform you that these clothes of mine will be of no use to you. I have set out to perform Hajj, and I am a single traveller so a haji should not suffer such hardship. Please, forgive me, and let me go. The dacoit said, Listen, dervish, we claim to be dacoits. We do not care whether a man is rich or whether he is a virtuous dervish. Whatever comes into our grasp, we take and enjoy ourselves. If we had the desire to earn so much good, then we would have been very noble people. We might have spent our lives beautifully by doing some other business. Dervish said, I understand that talking to you is futile. Well, here are my few clothes and I have a little spending money with me, and put them away. But let me go now. Whatever danger may come before me, I consider it insignificant before my intention. And my intention is to circumambulate Kaaba Sharif. The robber said, You are a strange person. Do you think we will leave you after listening to these sweet words and you will tell the rest of the people about our position? It can't be anything. Better you tell us your last wishes and get ready to die. Dervish said, finding me weak, you're oppressing me. No one thing, the punishment for killing an innocent unarmed person is terrible. You must be punished for the things you blow up and justice will come first. Hearing this, the bandit laughed loudly and said, Who will judge us like a court in this deserted land? Who will witness your death? And who will punish us? This incident of killing you will end here. Saying this, the rest of the gang surrounded the poor Dervish. They all wanted to kill him. Dervish looked around helplessly. He realized that there would be no use in pleading with them. His thirsty eyes for survival looked around for a man who could help him, but he did not see anyone. At that time, a flock of storks was flying over the dervish's head. The sound of their wings flapping overhead could be heard. The dervish, without any hope only to relieve himself, looked at the group of storks and said, Oh, birds, look and witness that I am trapped in this desolate land as a prisoner of some robbers and will soon die at their hands. Be witnesses and take revenge from me on these oppressors. The robbers heard this and started laughing loudly and said, You are really a fool. What's your name? The dervish said. Gave grain. The robber said, Gave grain. Very strange name. But you yourself are an ignorant and ignorant person who calls ignorant birds as witnesses of your death and asks them to take revenge on us as my enemies. They then laughed at the dervish and finally killed him. Whenever the dacoits remembered what he had said after killing the dervish, they laughed at how Dana Dill had kept the Abla birds as witnesses of his death, and begged them to return as revenge. The next day, when another caravan was passing through that road, they saw the body of the dervish, and buried him according to Sharia. As soon as the news of the dervish's death reached the city, a shadow of grief descended on everyone. They were puzzled as to who could kill this dervish, who was a virtuous servant, who had never had any enmity with any human being. Who can kill a man like him? They could not suspect anyone. 
everyone was eagerly waiting for the murderer to be caught and punished. Soon, a festive season arrived in the city, where people in every house would make a huge bowl for their crops and measure from it how much they had. People from different places used to gather in that city. At that time, those bandits also came to the city. They were sitting under a huge tree and talking among themselves. Beside them, some small children were sitting and talking to themselves. No one cares about these robbers, because they were dressed like ordinary people. Moreover, the death of Dervish was also erased from the minds of many. No one thinks about it anymore. The weather was beautiful that day. Visiting birds were perched on the branches of large trees and within a few moments were flying away again. Meanwhile, some birds suddenly came and sat on the branch of the tree under which the thieves had placed their story. They started chirping amongst themselves. One of the robbers said, Look at those birds, how they're making noise. Then a thief laughed and said, I think he came here to witness the death of that dervish. The other said, No, these are ordinary birds. When the dervish died, there were storks. Another one said, I laugh at the thought of how stupid that dervish was, who asked the brave to witness his own death. The robbers were talking and laughing among themselves, and their words reached the ears of a man of the city who was sitting next to them. The man said to another man who was with him, I noticed something. These people are talking about our dervish with the chirping of birds. My mind says that they must know something about the death of that dervish. We should look into what the chirping of these birds and the words of the people have to do with the death of our dervish. The people of the city went up from there and called the guard and Chaukidar in charge of the city about the party to be called. They immediately arrested the bandit. At some point after being arrested, they admitted that they had killed the dervish and started blaming each other. At last, the cause of the death of a poor innocent man came to light and that death witnessed the common idle birds and gangs of robbers to be punished for their deeds. So friends, today's video so far. Hope you liked today's video. Another surprising thing happened. Assalamu alaikum. Friends, friends, this incident is a true incident. The incident happened in the city of Pakistan. Suddenly, in the grave of this beautiful girl, what was seen, there is a lesson in this incident for every mother and sister which will make you cry after hearing, so know the whole incident. Don't drag the video to watch till the end, so let's start. The beautiful woman of Pakistan dies after the funeral when her body is lowered from the bed to be buried, it is seen in the grave, a terrible poisonous snake. This snake is poisonous. Everyone present was frightened, they were terrified. A second grave was dug for the beautiful woman, until the moment before the body was lowered into the grave, this second grave was empty, no snake or any other animal was there. But whenever her body was placed in the grave then, it was seen that the snake was in the first grave. Then the third grave was dug. When the body was placed, the snake was visible in the first grave. Everyone said that according to the situation. No matter how many graves are dug for this body, all the grave snakes will come. So let the dead body be buried in this grave, to be kept in the grave. And when it was brought down from the bed, the snake went to one side of the grave and made room for the dead body. But when the body was placed, immediately the snake, removing the cloth from the face of the body, twisted its tongue Everyone present at this scene once again became disturbed. Everyone began to wonder, what is the matter? Why is this happening? Burial of the body. Among the people who came, the husband of the beautiful lady was also asked, what is the cause of this torment on your wife? You can tell, he said, my wife used to treat me badly, did me many wrongs, hurt me in many ways, but I, I used to be patient, never retaliated or retaliated. Instead of his bad words and sad behavior, I didn't say anything to him. People started talking about my husband. Yes, brother, we understand. To trouble you, this plight of your wife. Please forgive her now. Ask forgiveness for her. Then the husband of the beautiful woman raised his hand in the court of Allah Almighty. And the husband said, O oh Allah, I have forgiven my wife. So please forgive her too, and save her from all the torments of the grave. As soon as the prayer was over, the terrible snake appeared disappeared in an instant, and all the trouble was removed. And they heaved a sigh of relief. Dear mothers and sisters, you who torment your husbands, slander them, and say whatever comes to your mouth, take a lesson from this video today. Friends share the story. A renowned scholar of India, 
Hazrat Maulana Mufti Mahmud, Hassan Gangani Ramatullahi. So friends, this was the case. If you like the video, then please like it and regularly to get such videos, subscribe our channel, stay with us, Allah Hafiz.